tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. Hello and welcome to Out and About with Augustine. I'm Julian Augustine, your host, and today I have a very special treat for you. Today I will be interviewing a king. Tell me, your majesty, is it true that you can recite any Shakespeare text from memory? It is as you say. Yes, you heard that right. A king. Must I speak into this device? No. The gentleman who I have the privilege of interviewing today actually believes he is a Shakespearean king. Uneasy lies the head that wears a crown. He is a modern day Don Quixote, if ever there was one. I that am rudely stamped and want love's majesty to strut before a wanton ambling nymph. I that am curtailed of this fair proportion, cheated of feature by dissembling nature, deformed, unfinished, sent before my time into this breathing world, scarce half made up, and that so lamely and unfashionable that dogs bark at me as I halt by them. I think it's safe to say this story is not much ado about nothing. But don't take it from me, let's get into the interview. Hello, and welcome to our very special interview on the set of our film, The Man Who Thought He Was King. I am here today with His Majesty, the King. Your Royal Highness, everybody says that we look alike, but personally, I don't see the resemblance. Do you? Certainly not. <laughs> Why don't you talk a little bit about the film? No. I told you we would have to do a promotional interview. I don't Stop recall. I think I'll go get a Wait, royal please. snack. Stop! What's a royal snack? For more of this and much more, Watch our film, The Man Who Thought He Was King. Hey, stop! Don't eat all the scones! Save some for me!